Hello guys, this tutorial is similar to the previous video that I've shared about solving for the measures of variability for group data using Excel. This time, I will show you how to solve for the mean, mad, variance, standard deviation, and coefficient of variation using the Google spreadsheet. But before we start, Please like this video and continue to support me by subscribing to my channel for more math tutorial. So here are the formulas that we will be using for the mean, for the variance, for the mad, for the standard deviation, and the coefficient of variation. Now, given this frequency distribution table with a class interval 5 to 9, to 35 to 39 given the frequency, we will find for the mean, the mad, the variance, standard deviation, and coefficient of variation using the Google spreadsheet. Now, let's go to my Google Classroom. One of my homeworks for my students is to find the following measures of variability or dispersion using spreadsheet. How? So the first thing that you should do is to Click Create, and Sheets, then after that, it will lead you to this one. Now, in the given class interval, the first one is from 5 to 9, but on the spreadsheet, we will make a column for lower limit and the upper limit, and also for the frequency. So we will separate the lower limit and the upper limit. So let's take a look at the interval. It started from 5. So this will be 5 to 9. Then we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, up to 35. And for the upper limit, we have 9, 14, 19, 24, 29, 34 and 39 and for the frequencies we have 2611 2611 then 4525 we have 4525 and we have now our first three columns in our spreadsheet so I will put it in the center and let's make the font a little bigger, like 24. So it's up to you. I just want to make this one bigger so that you could see it. Now, the first thing that we should do is to find for the mean. And the formula in finding the mean is the summation of the product of the frequency and the class mark divided by n. First, let us find the total frequency equal. And as you can see, we have a suggested formula here sum from c2 to c8 so then click that and hit enter so as you can see using the spreadsheet is kind of easier than the excel because in the excel file you have to type and click the formula but here if you will find for the sum or whatever you could see that it is suggesting already so then let us highlight this one so that you'll know that that is the total number or sum of the frequency which is our n and in the formula in finding for the mean we need to find for the class mark or the xm how do we find for the xm that is lower limit plus the upper limit divided by 2 equal we will add two number we need to put open parentheses click this then plus Click the upper limit, close parentheses, and divide it by 2, and hit enter. And as you can see, you could automatically fill out all the values. So just click this. Since we don't need the total, let us delete this one. Then the formula in finding for the mean is to multiply the frequency and the class mark. So the formula is equals frequency times the multiplication sign is the asterisk the xm which is 7 hit enter 
and suggested autofill check and delete this and the formula is to sum up the product of the frequency and the class mark so this will be equals and the suggestion is to add e2 to e8 and then hit enter and the total or the summation of the frequency and the class mark is 745 and let us color it red then we are now ready to find for the mean so i will put the mean here and the formula in finding the mean is is the summation of fxm divided by the total frequencies equals click the total divide by n which is 35 and hit enter you have this so let us decrease the decimal places okay so i want you to round off the answer to whole number so therefore your mean is 21. Next, let us find for the MAD. And first thing that we should do is to subtract the X and minus the X bar. So we need to put the X bar here or the mean. So what we do in finding for the mean absolute deviation is to subtract X M minus the mean. So how do we do that? First, let us put the mean, which is 21. Let's fill this out so that we could easily find the difference. So equal XM is 7 minus your mean is 21 and hit enter. You got negative 14 and suggested autofill, then delete 0. After that, we will find for the absolute value. So this will be the absolute value of the xm minus the mean how do you find the absolute value that is very simple equal sign and type abs abs for the absolute value of a number and hit this close parenthesis and enter and you could see that the absolute value of negative 14 is 14 negative 99 and Autofill it. Then let us find the total because in the formula that is the summation of the absolute value of the difference between the x and minus the x bar. So let us find the total and again type sum. And there is a suggestion here from h2 to h8. Click that and hit enter. And the total is 60, so let us color it red and the formula in finding for the mad summation of this divided by n so we have the total is 61 divide n is the total frequency click 35 hit enter and we got this so let us round off the mad until two decimal places so click decrease decimal places until you reach until two which is one point 74 so that is how you find for the mad now let us find for the variance the formula in finding for the variance is actually to get the square of this so how do we do that so let's make a column so that will be xm minus the mean squared so how do we do that so that is very simple okay equal sign and then hit this and raise it to the second power and hit enter so you will have 14 times 14 is 196 let us autofill that but we don't need the total so we will delete that in the formula okay we should multiply the square by the frequency so let us um, make a table for this so this will be frequency times xm minus the mean square so let us make the column a little wider okay so what should we do with this column equals we will multiply the frequency and this one so click frequency which is 2 
Multiplication is the asterisk, so we will multiply it by 196 and enter. So you got 392 and so on, so let's autofill that. And looking at the formula, we need to find for the summation of that. So this is equal, sum, and there is a suggestion here, and hit enter. And therefore, we have now the total of that. So let us find for the variance. And the formula in finding for the variance is this divided by, look at the formula again, by n, and your n is 35, and hit enter. And we have 78.8571, but if we will round that off until two decimal places, just decrease the decimal places until two. And then let us find for the standard deviation. The standard deviation is actually the square root of the variance. Equal sign, find the square root and that is SQRT, and then click this because that is the number that we will get the square root of, and close parentheses and hit enter. And you got 8.88 and so on, so let us round that or decrease the decimal places until 2. So we have now the standard deviation. Lastly, let us find for the C of E or the coefficient of variation. And how do we do that? The formula is simply the standard deviation divided by the mean. So equals standard deviation is this. So hit this. Divide. Your mean is what? 21. So click this and then enter. And you got 0 0.41. We will not autofill that, but we have to round that to two decimal places and therefore your coefficient of variation is 0.42. So let us highlight 78.86 as the value of the variance. The standard deviation is 8.88 and the coefficient of variation is 0.42. So here you go. This is how you will find for the following, for the mean, the mad, the variance, the standard deviation, and the coefficient of variation. So I hope that this video helped you finding for the measures of variability or dispersion. So if you've learned something from me today, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to share this for those students who need it. And please consider yourself subscribed to my channel and hit the notification bell so whenever I am uploading mass tutorial, you will be notified. Thank you so much and have a great day. God bless y'all. Bye!